Big Mary represents the traditional values of Tristan, the simple values of group loyalty and frugality. But the stay in England had its effect on some islanders. Individuals became convinced they could manage on their own, independently of the community. They grew used to fat pay packets, discovered new skills. New machinery brought with it a new way of thinking. Basil Lavarello, who now looks after the island's mechanical equipment, regrets his return to Tristan. Well, when we was in England, you hear so many letters come back from the first six men who was out there, and people always kept the same one. Tristan is just nearly the same as it was before. Personally, myself, I never want to come back. But then after, so many people turn against me and say that uh, you're silly for not going back. And you, you, you should go back to your own home. So I thought to myself, well, I'm going to go back and see. I want to prove it myself, what it's like. If I can prove it, that Tristan was not like it was before, I could turn around and tell him that, look, what I've told you was quite true. It's, tr it's Tristan, like it was before. Do you think you're going to get it back again? But people are beginning to prove it now, because when we first came here, you take for instance now, when we first landed on the island here, but it wasn't a thing yet for us. It wasn't a thing to eat or nothing. You just come back hoping. And when you got and saw the place, lots of people turned their minds, but it was too late. They said they'd rather been in England any day. Do you think many people feel like that? I'm sure as if they had had a vote now for people to return to England, I'd say three quarters out of the community would have turned back there again. Would you be one of them? I would be one of them. And if I can, I'm going to take that opportunity and go back. Mm. I'm saving up my money to do so. Work is a problem on Tristan, but there's no shortage of it when a supply boat comes in. On the beach, unloading begins at first light. Oil supplies heat and light for the island. The fuel tanks are for a new fish freezing plant soon to be built. The largest drums of all are hauled across the water on a rope. It was ten exhausting days before the cargo was completely unloaded. Work in England, say the islanders, was like Sundays in comparison. With ox carts and donkeys, the island women collect their precious rations of potatoes from the one island store. Since the blight attacked their own crops, they've been dependent on imported supplies. These potatoes must last them until Christmas when there's some hope of a new crop. Potatoes have always been their staple food, and though the store is subsidizing the present supply, it's an expensive item in family budgets. For the girls, plastic hair rollers are a link with England, with a wider, more exciting life. Some of them now regret ever leaving that life behind. Amongst them, Peggy Glass.